Uh, so hi everybody, um, it's uh, it's Wednesday, yes Wednesday today, and um, I've come out to do something, and I just want to tell you what I've come to do really, and uh, I hope that if you live in this area, which I'll tell you about in a minute, uh, that you can uh, support what I'm about to talk about. Um, yesterday I received a, a tweet from uh, a guy called Will Sentence. Now Will is probably the most famous tissue man in the whole country. Um, he's the guy uh, who brings on the tissues at the Jeremy Kyle show and uh, he's a top top bloke um, he's also an amazing floor manager he'd probably tell you he's a good warm-up man as well although Jeremy Kyle when I did uh, the Tech Santa special uh, with Jeremy Kyle he kind of thought I was better but yeah, the way is Will um, and I've known Will for a few years now because he uh, he was a floor manager on Loose Swimming and he's a top top guy uh, not only is he very funny he's done Edinburgh before um, he's a brilliant floor manager and just a, an all-round good egg and I like him very much and uh, I read a really sad tweet uh, yesterday uh, that his friend had died um, and the t tweet continued uh, to say that uh, the friend that died owned a burger restaurant um, in uh, in Oxford and he asked people to go to the burger restaurant uh, to support a wife and two children that have been left behind and I tweeted this out and said you know go to this burger restaurant and um, let's support this uh, this wife and two kids are probably going through hell right now and I was sat last night and I thought to myself you know what talks cheap right I always uh, try and maintain if I put out a tweet if I can do something to back that up um, then that's really important how can I ask anything of you guys if I'm not doing anything myself so I have made the journey uh, to Oxford which I have to tell you is a very beautiful city um, and I'm gonna go and eat a burger uh, in this place and hopefully um, anyone who's watching this who lives in Oxford or near Oxford or might be a student in Oxford or anyone who comes to visit Oxford I would take time out of their day just to go and grab a burger um, I'm gonna go and have one now so I'm gonna tell you what it's like as well um, it's the least I can do really for my friend Will and uh, also for a wife and two children are probably really really going through it right now so I'm gonna go and grab a burger and I'll catch up with you in a minute so as is with me I've uh, I walked the wrong way so I went completely the wrong way so I'm trying to find Atomic Burger which apparently is down here on the left somewhere I could always ask someone I suppose although my experiences with places like Oxford and Cambridge not many people are from Oxford or Cambridge because obviously it's a huge student but, oh, I wonder if they sell ironing boards. I need an ironing board. I'm not popping there after. I know I've got to start ironing. What's that all about? All right, let's uh, see if I can find this place. Just thinking to myself, right? You see that pink car? Why? When you order a car, why would you order a pink car? Why would you do that? Hello, fella. You all right, mate? So I'm looking, still looking for it. I pipe miles that way. Miles. It's typical me, right? I think, ah, oh, this looks interesting. Okay, it's amazing, right? So the burger, each burger is like a, um, they got a name for it. So I don't think you can see this. Let me, uh, let me hold this up for you. So they've got the Joker, the Daisy Duke, the Will Robson. They've got a forest, they've got a forest cover. That's really exciting. Dead Elvis, Chuck Norris. It's a pretty cool this place, you know. Quite glad I came down now. Um, let you have a little look around. I wish people don't mind being filmed. Anyway, so I'm going to pick my burger now. I won't film me eating it, that's just weird. <coughs> well, I've decided to go for the Forest Cup, and why wouldn't I? And they do beer as well. I've even had a Diet Coke. See, miracles do happen. Um, so I'm having the forest gum, it's really cool here. Look at these, look. I haven't seen one of those for ages. I've got mustard one as well. This is a really, really cool place. Really cool, I'm really glad I came down here. Well, I'll try the burger now and I'll update you afterwards. I feel like a Gordon Ramsay kind of thing, you know, what I, like, what if they let me cook a burger? Oh my God, look at the milk, look. You drink milk out of a milk bottle. Okay, that's really cool. That reminds me when I was at school and you used to do a, a break time, you used to get a milk bottle and you have to drink milk out of a milk bottle. I know I'm old, right? You used to throw the cream away at the top, you didn't like the cream, and then you used to go and have a sleep under the piano. You used to get the mats out and have a snooze at school. They still do that. Anyway, 
um, and crack on with burger eating. Wait, I've, ju I've just seen this, look. Spider-Man. So you've got a Spider-Man. I mean, it's not just a burger place, look. Some serious cocktail making going on. I almost wish I got the train. You've got to look at this. What is that you're making? A lagerita. A lagerita. A lagerita. It's a lagerita. That's a thing. Oh my god, that looks good. Wow. Oh, I'm all over that like a mash. That's amazing. Why did I drive? Why did I drive? I don't know, but you'll have to wait until next time. Definitely, that looks amazing. Wow. Okay, you've got to stop making them in front of me. That's like torture. See, the best bit about this is, so when they drink it, and so I presume as they drink it and it goes down, the lager, it just keeps refilling itself. Yeah. That's like heaven. Wow. In the States, they use um, like ice molds. Right. Stand it up properly. Uh, in America, is that? Yeah. Right. But we've come up with this way. Okay. It fills through quicker. Right. So just as you drink the margarita, the soul lager just keeps filling up the glass. Yeah, it just, it just keeps siphoning through. Right. There is a god. I can't <laughs> believe you're doing that in front of me though. That's the worst thing, right? This is like torture. I'll try not to make any more. No, but that's fine. I'm quite enjoying. I do some alcoholic milkshakes. Yeah, no, alcoholic milkshakes. <laughs> they do alcoholic milkshakes. You do alcoholic milkshakes. We do. I think I've died and gone to heaven here. Actually, that probably wasn't the right thing to say, in all fairness. Sorry. Um, this is amazing. You should so come and get checked this place out. It's phenomenal. I like having a burger and I'm excited. So I've just had the most amazing burger. I have to tell you, I'm not just saying that either. I'm just saying it was an amazing burger. It's an amazing burger. And it's an amazing place as well. And um, what I've also done, I've left some money there. And um, for about 10 burgers. So uh, if you come to this place and uh, you walk in and you say, Royce sent me, uh, you're going to get a free burger. Now that's, if you come in a group of six and you're only going to get one burger in the group. Um, so hopefully lots of people, or 10 people at least, or 10 groups of people will come and visit this restaurant and have an amazing burger. And at the same time, uh, help uh, a really grieving uh, wife and couple of kids and uh, hopefully look after them a little bit. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not just recommending this because... Um, it's a friend of mine. Seriously, I'm not. It's a really fantastic place in there. I think they've got a pizza one as well, an atomic pizza. Bring your kids down. It's great because you've got all stuff on the walls and it's just and, and that. What was that? That Mark Lager and Marita thing. That was seriously going on. That. So get your ass down here. Um, have a burger on me and let's help out some people because today we can. You know, I just want to say something. It's um. I know I've got a lot of followers compared to. The most I don't have the millions I'd like, obviously, but I don't want anyone to think I'm a bit deluded here doing what I've done today. I just, even if you know, well, there's about 10 burgers there, so 10 groups go there, and then maybe 10 groups love it as much as I did, and they tell someone else, and someone else goes there. That would mean a lot, really, because I know Will, and uh, apparently, his friend had a wicked sense of humor, so they died and gone to heaven. Comment I'm sure he's laughing at me and my big mouth, eh? Um, so I just, you know, I just hope it makes a little difference, really. And that's the truth. So, if you are in Bournemouth and you want to come down, what's the name of this road? Cowley Road. Cowley Road. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Someone knew where they were. Uh, Cowley Road in, uh, here in Oxford. Did I just say Bournemouth? No. Uh, in Oxford. Um, Cowley Road. Please, uh, please, please, please. Go and have an amazing burger and help out a family in need. So now the drive home. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, give up your day. No, not give up your day. Give up your time to uh, spend a little bit of time watching this. That's too many times in one sentence, right? Uh, if you want to follow Will on Twitter, it's at Will Sentence. Uh, he's a great guy. And uh, my love, thoughts, respect and prayers to the family who lost uh, a husband and a dad. Uh, it will get easier, the pain. It will. You have a good day now. And just know anything's possible. Thanks.